Hello friends, welcome back to Easy to Learn Tech and thank you for watching all my previous video. If you are watching my video first time, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the latest notification of my video. And in today's video, we are going to talk about Volta's full DC inverter, air conditioning, air codes and their solution. And for all other brands, already I have provided a link in the description you can check there and you can do the troubleshooting as all of us know inverter inverter air conditioning takes much time to do the troubleshooting if you know the error code and if you know the exact solution of the error code it make you easy to do the troubleshooting and if we don't know that error code then we have to go step by step which will take lot of time to the to do the troubleshooting to avoid unnecessary wastage of time you can check all the error codes and their solution which will make you easy to do the troubleshooting faster and make the unit work without wasting our time let's start our video and see all the error codes and their solution let's see the first error code when you see in your display e0 it means auto aprom error in our auto unit by company itself they install one aprom in our auto pcb when it does the malfunctioning at that time it shows this error you can do only one thing just you have to reset your air conditioning put the power off and wait for three minutes again restart the unit and again if you get the same error e0 it means your outdoor pcb the aprom is faulty need to change the outdoor pcb when you change the outdoor pcb your unit will be in working condition let's see the next error code when you see in your display ee it means indoor aprom error in our indoor pcb company in build the aprom which is installed from the company itself if it does any malfunctioning at that time we get this error sometimes due to the fluctuation of our power supply at that time also it make this error the only one solution is that you have to put the unit off for 3 minutes and again you have to restart your air conditioning if you see the error is disappear it means your unit has been reset properly and again if you are getting the same error then you have to change the indoor pcb and your unit will be working because for this error we don't have any other troubleshooting let's see the next error code when you see in your display e1 it means indoor fan motor faulty first of all you have to check the position of our motor if it is properly installed or not then you have to check the blade and the blower and if the blower is stuck getting stuck somewhere if it is stuck getting stuck somewhere you have to release it and make it free and even you have to check the connection in our indoor pcb if it is properly connected or not if the it's not properly connected connect it properly and start the unit and then you have to check the air flow if there is any obstruction or not you have to make the air flow smooth and even sometimes when the capacitor is weak at that time also it doesn't work you have to check the capacitor also and even you have to check the indoor pcb if the out supply which is coming from the indoor pcb should be dc 5 volt if it is not giving dc 5 volt it means our indoor pcb is faulty need to change the indoor pcb and in our fan motor there is a one cable which is coming from the fan motor to our indoor pcb it's give the command of the rpm of the fan motor and in that you have to check if the out coming from the fan motor should be dc 15 volt if it is not giving dc 15 volt it means the signal from the fan motor is not coming to our indoor pcb you have to change the fan motor let's see the next error code when you see in your display e2 it means indoor fan zero crossing detection malfunctioning this error occur due to one component of fan zero crossing detection circuit is not working or it's not okay mostly this malfunctioning occurs due to the broken parts of our indoor pcb or due to falling down or sometime when we install the unit it get crash with swing motor or the fiber parts at that time this error occur so during the installation of our indoor pcb be careful if any component get break at that time it will show this error you have to change the indoor pcb when you get this error let's see the next error code when you see in your display e6 it means indoor and outdoor communication error first of all you have to check 
if the wire which we have installed from our indoor unit to the outdoor unit is broken or not if it is not broken then check the connection in our indoor unit as well as in the outdoor unit the connection of our communication cable should be tight not loose if it is loose tight it properly and check the unit again and again if you are getting the same error then you have to check the out supply from the communication cable which is coming from our outdoor unit to the indoor unit remove the cable from the, our indoor unit and check the communication the voltage should be between 13 dc to 24 dc if it is between that it means our outdoor pcb is giving the command and our indoor pcb is not giving the command at that time you have to change the indoor pcb and same you have to connect the communication cable in our indoor unit pcb and you have to remove it from the outdoor unit and again you have to check you have to put the unit on and you have to check if the voltage which is coming from our indoor pcb the signal coming from the indoor pcb should be between 13 dc volt to 24 dc volt if our indoor unit is not giving 13 to 24 dc volt it means our indoor pcb is faulty need to replace the indoor pcb our unit will be in working condition let's see the next error code when you see in your display e8 it means outdoor communication problem this is mainly for only for the outdoor first of all you have to check the indoor and outdoor model name if it's not getting match you have to change the wrong unit if your model number for the indoor is different and for the indoor outdoor is different then you have to change the indoor or outdoor and you have to make one model both the unit and then you have to check the wiring connection between indoor pcb and the outdoor controller if the wiring is not correctly done correct the wiring and start the unit and again if you are getting the same problem then you have to check the outdoor electrical reactor connection if it is loose or not if it is loose connect it properly and you have to check the resistance of your electric reactor it should be greater than 5 ohms if it is greater than 5 ohms then you have to replace the reactor and your unit will be in working or sometimes when your fan is not working at that time the led of our outdoor pcb doesn't get start remove the zip from the pcb of our fan motor and check if the led is working or not if the led is working it means our fan motor is faulty need to replace the fan motor and after removing the motor also if the led is not lighting it means our outdoor controller is faulty need to change the outdoor pcb your unit will be in working condition let's see the next error code when you see in your display e4 it means indoor room sensor error first of all you have to check the placement of our sensor if the placement is not good place it in proper place then you have to check the connection if the connection is abnormal connect it properly in our indoor pcb and start the unit and again if you are getting the same error then you have to disconnect the sensor and check the resistance of the sensor the resistance should be at 25 degrees celsius 10 kilo ohms if it is less or more then you have to change the sensor and then you have to check the pcb in which the out supply is coming for our sensor if the out supply from the pcb is not good then you have to replace the into pcb our unit will be in working condition let's see the next error code when you see in your display e3 it means indoor coil sensor error indoor coil sensor error is same like our indoor room sensor error you have to follow the same step and you have to check all step by step you have to check the placement and you have to check the connection you have to check the resistance and you have to check the power supply from the pcb and our unit will be in working condition let's see the next error code when you see in your display f1 it means compressor abnormal start sometimes when our compressor doesn't start properly at that time it shows this error first of all you have to check the compressor ground if it is ground or not then you have to check the three terminals resistance if the terminal resistance is okay or not if the terminal resistance is okay and our compressor is not ground it means our compressor is okay then you have to check our outdoor pcb in outdoor pcb you have to check the cable which is going to our compressor uvw if it is properly connected or not if it is not properly connected connect it properly and start the unit and again if you are getting the same error then you have to check the out supply which is coming from our outdoor pcb to our compressor you have to check the uvw if the power supply which is coming from uvw is okay or not if it is not okay then you have to change the outdoor pcb our unit will be in working condition let's see the next error code when you see in your outdoor f5 f6 f7 or f8 this all four are for the outdoor sensor error f5 stand for the discharge sensor f6 is for the outdoor section temperature sensor and f7 is for the coil sensor and f 
8 is for the outdoor ambient temperature sensor and for all these four sensors we have same process of troubleshooting first of all you have to check the placement of the sensor then you have to check the connection in our outdoor pcb if it is properly connected or not if it is not connected connect it properly and start the unit and again if you get out of this four if you get any error then you have to check the wire between our outdoor pcb and the sensor if it is cut or damaged or not if it is not damaged then you have to again restart the unit and check if is showing the same error then you have to check the resistance of the sensor if the resistance is okay then you have to check the out power supply which is coming from our outdoor pcb if the out power supply is not coming properly then you have to check you have to change the outdoor pcb and if the resistance is not good then you have to change the sensor and your unit will be in working condition